Hi guys, how are y'all doing today? Well, I'm just great, thanks for asking. Anyway, I have another one of these videos. I love watching them, I'm gonna do another one. Empties. All right, people, I got a big old bag. It's time to go through my beauty trash. Hmm. Isn't that weird that I just collect my trash like a crazy hoarder for you all so you can see what's in it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go through this quickly. And I've been on this like kick of using up all the stuff that I own and trying not to buy tons of new products and items lately. But um, so that's why. But there'll be some repeat items that I use and go through all the time. So. Anyway, let's get started. First thing is this Dove Refresh and Care Volume Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo in like ever. I've repurchased it millions of times, love it. Next thing is this uh, Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. It was okay. That's all I have to say about it, it was fine. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but it was great. I mean, it was a nice, simple face wash, and I liked it for travel because it opened this way, and I could close it and put it in something to travel with. Third thing is this L'Oreal El Net hairspray. It took me forever to get through this stuff because I used this plus other like high hole hairsprays, like the Dove one. I actually like this for on my curls, but I don't like it to tame flyaway flyaways or anything else like that. Oh, look at here, another one of these body washes. Let's see. Hmm. Caress Sheer Twilight. This is the Black Orchid and Juniper. I mean, it was nice. It's still not as nice as my favorite one, which is the Amber one, I think. Anyway, this was cool. I love these Caress Fine Fragrance body washes. They all smell really great. Um, a Tresemme. What is this? Heat Protectant. I mean, it works, it does what it says it does, and it's fine. It takes me forever to go through these. I haven't repurchased one, but I'll probably get another one soon. Suave um, Moroccan Infusion Weightless Dry Shampoo, and I like this one. This is my another one of my favorites in the drugstore. The Dove is my absolute favorite, but Suave is another one of my, my favorites. I mean, it's probably runner-up in the favorite another Dove hair product. This is the Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Detangler. It took me like over a year to get through this because I didn't really notice a difference when I was using it. I just sort of used it to use it. I'm not going to repurchase. This is the St. Ives Fresh Hydration Lotion Spray in Coconut Milk and Orchid. I really really liked this for summer. I don't know. Um, I might use it in fall. I'm not sure. But I used it while I was pregnant to help with stretching skin and all that, and I liked it using it better than like the typical like pregnancy care items. This is an e.l.f. mist and set spray. I've gone through this a ton. I use it all the time. I love it. It's only $3, and I find it is comparable to the MAC Fix Plex. Oh, looky here. Here's one of these things. <laughs> yeah, I love these. These are the Maybelline Instant... This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewash. I can't talk. I, I give up. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasement Treatner Treatment in the. I freaking hate how long the name to this thing is. In the shade Brightener. You've seen me use this all the time. I talk about it all the time. Okay. I have got. I just decided to throw this away because I have a. Because. It's really dirty and it's really gross and it. Um, and this is the Sonia Kashuk blender. It's supposed to be like a beauty blender dupe, and I really don't feel like it is. Um, I'm, I've I've even blogged about it before, saying that it is, but it it's a good alternative if you need a makeup sponge. But I feel like it's got really gross and dirty, and it was hard to it was harder to clean, and it just got really hard, and it didn't get super spongy. And so, ew, gross. I'm just going to throw this up here. I didn't use all of this either, but I was just like over it. This is the Maybelline Great Lash uh, Clear Mascara, and everybody and their mom knows what this is. I was using this as brow gel, and I just felt like it started flaking. It was not great. And the Milani Clear Brow Gel is way better, and 
it's just a great product and it's so not worth it to get this. I talked about this product in one of my pregnancy skincare videos, or I think I did one of those videos. Anyway, um, this is the Michael Todd True Organics Blue Green Algae Toner. I absolutely love this. I would definitely repurchase it. I have not done it yet. I'm going to. I'm glad it's in this video so I can remember. Get more of this, Meg. You'll need it. I have these two. This took me forever to go through. I take forever to go through shampoos and conditioners. This is the Kai um, shampoo and conditioner. I don't know. If, can you see that? And um, Kai, this company sent me these shampoo and conditioner, and I did a giveaway and a review like a year ago. And I really, really like these. They're super moisturizing. They don't have sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and phosph <laughs> phosphates. How do you say that? Phthalates. Phthalates? I have really no idea. You know the word I'm talking about. And I'm usually great with like pronouncing words and I just do not know how to pronounce that. I mean, once I know, I'll never forget. Neutrogena Naturals Purifying, Purifying Facial Cleanser. This is one of my favorite cleansers from the drugstore. I love it a lot and um, I highly recommend this, especially if you are an acne sufferer. It's got some um, natural willow bark extract which is a form of salicylic acid. Anastasia of Beverly Hills clear brow gel sample and I love this. It's so expensive so I haven't went haven't got I haven't bought it but I really like it and I may splurge on it. I have an Anastasia brow whiz because you can't see it over here. An Anastasia brow whiz. In soft brown, love it, holy grail brow pencil. I will keep buying these as long as they keep making them until, unless something better than this comes out. Johnson's, I just threw this in here, I don't know why. I have a Johnson's baby shampoo. I just, Caroline used it, she enjoyed it. Got two things left. And this is um, Organics by Numi. They sent this to me in one of my subscription boxes, um, and it's an argan oil for hair, and I really liked it. Don't know if I would go out and buy it, because there's so many different things that I could just, like, go to the store and buy. So, I mean, it was, it was fine. I just probably wouldn't buy it. Sorry, Numi. Then this, I love, 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 love. I'm going to go buy some more. This is Pure Rose Hip Seed Oil, and it's great for sensitive skin. It's great for... Can you see it? It's like... Pure rose hip seed oil. There we go. It's on my face. Can you see it? Um, it's got, it, I mean, it's great moisturizer. It's super, um, it doesn't make me broke out. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't irritate the skin. It's great on the lips, on the eyes, on the face, on the hands. It's got natural retinol, vitamin A in it, but it doesn't irritate the skin. So it's a great product. And I think that's it, people. Those are all the things that I've used. If you want to see more empties videos, just let me know. I will just keep collecting my trash. Alright? Just my beauty trash, okay? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, have a fantastic week, have a fantastic year, month, whatever. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic time doing that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.